Oh, I tried waving while I was diving onto my bed there. Didn't work out too well. What's going on everybody? It's the Borderlands guy and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the top three best bosses to farm in Borderlands 3 at this time. Before we even hop into the video, I just want to make sure you guys know these are my opinions. These are not like factual evidence of, of like the best bosses to farm. These are just my opinions. These are the bosses I've had the best luck with and the best time farming. You know, the best, just, it's just my opinion. Don't freak out at me, okay? Thanks. All right, before we hop into the video though, be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is a Borderlands only channel. I love doing Borderlands videos. I do Borderlands videos every single week and I have a lot of fun with it. I also have a main channel called JDO, which I'll link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. JDO, I post a bunch of different kinds of gaming videos and a bunch of different video games. I do post Borderlands 3 videos over there but just it's not a borderlands only channel so i decided to start this channel for my borderlands only channel so be sure to subscribe to both channels and let's hop right into this top three video so the top three best bosses to farm in borderlands at this moment number three we're gonna go with gigamine now gigamine can be found on promethea in the meridian metroplex the initial route to get to his farm location is not very long at all and then to make it even better there's a spawn station right outside of his arena now, you have to drive to the initial arena, but once you start saving and quitting after you've already gone to the arena, you'll spawn right outside of his arena every single time, which makes it really convenient. Now, Gigamind is really weak. You can destroy him with the lob a ton. It's it's ridiculous how quickly you can farm Gigamind. Gigamind has a really good loot pool. That's why he is number three on this list. He has the Hellshock pistol, which is a really good pistol, and he's got the Smart Gun XL, which is a really cool little SMG. He also could drop a bunch of different world drop legendary items, and there's a little red chest right to the left of his little spawn location and i've gotten a lot of legendaries out of this little chest like a lot and gigamind can drop a ton of legendaries he's a really awesome little loot drop and the reason he's so high on this list and even on this list is because he drops a lot of legendaries super quick you can farm gigamind incredibly fast and i think that's why he's one of the best you don't have to run very far to get to him and he's, he's a pretty quick farm so that's gigamind i really like him he has a pretty good loot pool and he can drop world drop legendaries as well now let's move on to number two. The Agonizer 9000 is number two. To get to the Agonizer 9000, you're going to go to Pandora and in the guts of Carnivora. Takes about a minute to get to his arena initially, but after you get to his arena the first time, once you start saving and quitting, you will spawn right outside of his arena every single time. Kind of similar to Gigamind, but the initial route is a lot longer. Now, a lot of people will put this as their number one, but my number one trumps this one for sure. But he does have a pretty nice loot pool containing the Dictator Assault Rifle, which is an amazing assault rifle. Rifle. And then he also has the loaded dice artifacts, which are really good artifacts as well. He's got some other things as well in there. He's got the damned assault rifle, which is a pretty good one as well. And he drops a bunch of world drops. And he's, he's a pretty solid farm. He really is. You can get a lot of really good legendaries from him. And I really like farming the Agonizer a lot. So that's the second best boss to farm. He's pretty good. I love the Agonizer 9000. It's a great legendary farm location. But that brings us to number one, which is Tom and Zam. I've talked about Tom and Zam a ton on this channel. This requires DLC number two which is the Guns, Love, and Tentacle DLC on Borderlands 3. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Guns, Love, and Tentacle world, and then you're going to go down to Heart's Desire, and it's the second spawn location in the Heart's Desire. This is going to take you right outside of Tom and Zam's arena, and they are so good for so many reasons, so I'm just going to jump right into them. First off, they have an incredible loot pool. Every single exclusive world drop legendary item in the Guns, Love, and Tentacle DLC, Tom and Zam drop. They drop all of them. And then they also drop a ton of world drops as well. I've gotten the lob from Tom and Zam so many times. And the way that the lob is right now, it can honestly be considered the best gun in the game. So because it drops the best gun in the game very frequently, I put Tom and Zam number one. Now, with all that being said, we have another reason that they're really, really good. You can farm just one of them and then fast travel back to that spawn location outside of their arena and then farm one of them again. So you really are only farming one over and over and over and they're dropping a legendary every time. You don't have to save and quit. It's such a time saver. It's such a time saver And you could just keep farming one over and over and over it makes it so easy and It makes it so quick you can get so many legendaries in such a short amount of time and it drops the lob My, I, Tom and Zam can drop the lob the lob the best gun in the game the lob that right there is why they're number one They can drop the lob and they drop so many other weapons that are really good the old Ridian I've gotten the brainstormer multiple times from these guys multiple times and just a bunch of other really good weapons that you get you should totally go and check out so that's why they're my number one again these are all just my opinions please don't get mad at me in the comment section these are just my humble opinions on what i think the top three best farms are in borderlands 3. so 
with that being said, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Borderlands guy. I love posting videos. I love doing Borderlands videos. And I also have a second channel, which is actually my main channel. So be sure to go check that one out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Deuces.